this video, we are going to continue looking at some math that you might see on the plumbers or pipe fitters apprenticeship aptitude practice math. So let's take a look at our first question here. Number nine says to change five sixths into a percent. The most efficient way to do that is to divide. So first off, you want to think of that fraction five sixths as five divided by six, top divided by the bottom. And if you look at our instructions, it's, um, they don't tell us whether we can use a calculator or not. So I'm gonna show you, you know, what you, if you were to type into a calculator, that's what you type, five divided by six. But if you were doing it by hand, the five goes on, the top goes on the inside, the five goes on the inside, the six goes on the outside. We're going to put our decimal place. We're going to put a few zeros so we can get um, get that out a few decimal places. Okay, so let's actually do that. And so uh, six does not go into five, so we can put a little placeholder there. Six does does go into fifty. If you think about the fact that um, six times eight is um, is 48, then that's going to help you there. So we can put an 8 here. 6 times 8 is 48. We're going to subtract. So 50 minus 48 is 2. Bring down the next number. Do it again. 6 goes into 20 um, three times without going over. 3 times 6 is 18. Put it down. And you'll notice we get 20 again. And we're going to keep getting 20 again and again and again. So you can put a little bar there. That means repeating itself. Now, from here, uh, the decimal 0.833 repeating to change into a percent is a pretty easy procedure. We're just going to move the decimal place two to the right. Now, technically, you're multiplying by 100. You're asking how many is there per hundredth. So you just move it over two places. And so we get 83.3%. So to change a decimal into a percent, you're going to move the decimal two places over. So to change a fraction into a percent, make the fraction into a decimal, and then move the decimal place two places to the right. Now, we're going to go the opposite way for number 10. It says to change the decimal, or the percentage, 112.5% into a decimal. Now, 112.5% we're going to write as 112.5. So a half is a common um, fraction. You want to know that one half is 0.5 without even thinking about it. You want to know one half is 0.5, one fourth is 0.25. Uh, there are some common fractions that are very, very important. So if we want to change that into its decimal form, if we looked up here to change the decimal to a percent, we move the decimal two places to the right. So to change a percent back into a decimal, we're going to move the decimal back to where it belongs, two places to the left. So if we move that two places to the left, we get a 1.125. So there is how to change a percent into a decimal. Okay, we're going to do 11, 12, and 13, and then we'll continue in another video. Okay, so let's take a look at number 11. It says Tom sold 75% of his farm, and the number of acres sold was 150. How many acres were there in the farm before selling? So this is the way you want to think about it. 75% of the total on the farm gave me an answer of 150, okay? 75% of his farm, of the total acres, is 150. It was, the answer was 150. How many acres were on this farm before selling? Well, if we look at the this math, and if we wanna solve it, we're just gonna solve 0.75 times the total equals 150. Now, in order to solve an equation like that, we just have to divide off the 0.75. So we're going to divide both sides by 0.75. So 
So the total will just be whatever 150 divided by 0.75 is. So if we do that division, we get 200. So the answer would be 200 acres. So there were 200 acres on the farm. He sold 75% of it. And um, and he sold 150, which is um, three-fourths of it. Okay, let's take a look at number 12. It says, Joe lives 6.4 miles from his work. He drives his car to and from work each day. How far does he drive in a six-day week? So let's zoom in. They're saying he's working each one of those days. So if you figure he is 6.4 miles per work, he drives it to and from work. So if we double that, we get 12.8 miles every day. And if he's working six um, days, all we got to do is multiply those together. I mean, you could add 12.8 plus 12.8, you know, six times if you want but it's more efficient to actually multiply, and we get 76.8 miles in that week's time, okay? And then the last one we're gonna do in this video is number 13, what is the square root of 36? So let me write it out, but then we wanna talk about numbers for a minute. So I'm just gonna do a list here. One squared means one times one, which is one. Two squared means two times two, 3 squared, 3 times 3, 4 squared, 4 times 4, 5 squared, 5 times 5, you get the hint, okay? Now let's talk about what a square root is. The square root undoes that process. It's the opposite of that process, kind of like multiplication and division. So the square root of 1 is 1, the square root of 4 is 2, the square root of 9 is 3, the square root of 16 is 4, the square root of 25 is 5. So you really only are undoing a certain number. So when they ask you what is the square root of 36, they're really saying what number squared gave me 36? Well, 6 squared is 6 times 6 or 36. So the answer to that is 6. So there are some types of questions you might see on your apprenticeship or, um, you know, math aptitude test. Uh, there's more to come, so please keep watching. Please subscribe to get more videos. Comment if you need any specific kind of material, and I hope that helps. Good luck. Thanks. Bye.